Today, we have a truly electrifying topic to delve into the development and construction process of wind power stations. As the demand for renewable energy increases, so does the demand for wind turbine foundations market. As of August 2022, global wind power generation capacity is pegged at 743 GW. In the US, yes, alone, over 70,800 wind turbines exist across 44 states. As per SkyQuest's study to meet the global demand for energy, more than 1.49 million wind turbines with 4 M double U capacity would be needed to meet the global energy need in the global wind turbine foundation market. So, if you're ready to spark your curiosity, let's dive right in. the average land-based wind turbine had a hub, height of 190 feet, a rotor diameter of 173 feet, and produced 900 QU electricity. Today, those numbers have skyrocketed with the average land-based wind turbine now standing 55% higher at 295 feet using a rotor diameter. More than two times as large at 410 feet and producing 3,000 Q of electricity, more than three times the amount produced 20 years ago. As the height of wind turbines has grown, so has foundation size, with the average foundation volume doubling in the last 20 years. As we continue to discover more efficient ways to harness wind's energy, it's imperative we continue to develop new solutions to address today's wind turbine challenges. One such challenge revolves around wind turbine foundations. Foundations are critical to wind energy facility. Design. Common challenges wind energy developers face when it comes to wind turbine foundations include wind turbine size, site location limitations, and CO2 emissions from the cement used in concrete foundations. Here, we uncover a variety of solutions to mitigate these issues. turbines in the U.S. today stand on ear. Spread footing foundation consisting of cast in place reinforced concrete. This type of foundation 
relies on the strength of the concrete, the weight of the turbine, and soil backfill to provide stability and adequately transfer loads to the underlying soil and rock. These foundations are already massive structures. As rotor, diameters continue to increase and hub heights continue to rise. Foundations keep getting larger to support even greater loads. But when will a wind turbine become too large for a traditional gravity-based spread footing foundation? The answer to that question will depend on a number of site-specific factors, including how much concrete can reasonably be supplied to a site at once. When the traditional cast-in-place reinforced concrete foundation is not an option due to limited concrete supply, alternatives are available. These alternative foundations are based on the principle that concrete volume can be swapped out with higher strength materials and slash or buy, using more efficient geometry. For example, the floor of a high-rise building could be a flat, cast-in-place, reinforced concrete slab. However, today it is more common for these structures to use concrete waffle slabs or precast post-tensioned. Concrete due to the shortened installation time, lighter overall structure, weight, and the broad industry experience with these methods. Using the precast post-tensioned concrete approach, a wind turbine foundation also can be built using concrete segments that have already been precast off-site, transported to the site, and then post-tensioned. Wind power is a clean energy source that we can rely on for the long-term future. One wind turbine can be sufficient enough to generate energy for an entire household. Wind power has the potential to reduce global warming. The electricity generated by wind in the United States in 2012 avoided the release of 79.9 million metric tons of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere, which is the equivalent to 14 million cars off the road. The conversion of wind energy to electricity does not contribute to global warming at all.
Wind turbine installation is a complex process that involves several steps to ensure the safe and efficient setup of a wind turbine. Before installation, a thorough site assessment is conducted to determine the best location for the wind turbine. This assessment considers factors such as wind, speed, direction, terrain, and environmental impact. The first step in installation involves building the foundation. Wind turbines can have different types of foundations, including concrete slabs, monopiles, or gravity-based foundations depending on the location and turbine size. The foundation must be designed to withstand the weight of the turbine and the dynamic forces generated by wind. Wind turbine components, including the tower sections, rotor blades, and hub, are manufactured in factories and transported to the installation site. The tower sections are assembled on site, typically using cranes or specialized equipment. The tower is anchored to the foundation and additional components like the ladder, platform, and electrical connections are installed. The nacelle is lifted and installed on top of the tower. This is a critical step as it houses the turbine's generator, gearbox, and control systems. The rotor blades are attached to the hub, creating the rotor assembly. This assembly is then mounted on the front of the nacelle. Electrical and control system installation. The electrical systems, including the power cables and control systems, are connected. This includes wiring the turbine to the grid and installing the necessary safety features and monitoring equipment. Wind turbine installation is a highly specialized process that requires expertise in engineering, construction, and electrical systems. It also involves adherence to safety and environmental regulations to minimize the impact on the surrounding area. The entire process, from site assessment to operation, can take several weeks to complete depending on the size and complexity of the turbine.